My name is Nicholas Danes and I travel the world looking for the best wines I can find. I'm here in magical South Africa to discover how winemaking showmanship and culinary artistry come together to produce a dining experience like no other in the world. Some of South Africa's finest vineyards are in remote areas and I've come to creation a very special vineyard in the remote corner of the Walker Bay region which is literally created from 40 hectares of undulating land on the lofty Hemelan Arda Ridge which had previously never been planted with vines and this place has certainly shaped the wine and dine landscape in South Africa in recent years. Now I get to do the wine tasting at Creation here with the winemaker himself, Jean-Claude Martin. So we're going to start the tasting with the 2016 Art of Chardonnay. So tell me about this wine, it smells absolutely delicious. So this is our Art uh, Chardonnay 2016 and that's pretty much our flagship wine on, the, on our wine estate. And there are only 3,000 bottles made? That's right, we're always running for around uh, 10 barrels. So it's very special. The Art is basically our flagship wine and it gets selected through a vineyard process. So we're basically checking for the best vineyards. Um, we checking afterwards on the best uh, juice fractions. And then we make on top of that then a barrel selection. And this is, uh, this is from a single site, isn't That's it? It's a single site. And then uh, uh, on top of the single site, it's a barrel selection where we in a normal year, we would ending up at around 10 barrels. But it's not necessarily means that the art range will be released every year. It really as to make the winemaker feel comfortable. So it's not every single year, it's just when the yield no, is, is, is really, right. Absolutely, we really try to make it a kind of a unique approach. Oh, and so, special. Uh, and cheers. Cheers, sir. Nice to have you here. Okay. Oh, that's absolutely delicious. Um, there's, a, there's a great deal of purity in this wine, very fresh. And uh, I can taste pears as well. Absolutely, you have the pear element, maybe you get uh, a little bit of the pear skins and then a touch maybe citrus but we really try uh, even when that wine is uh, fully in, uh, in French oak uh, uh, aged we don't really want to have the elements of the wood overpowering it should be well integrated yes it's, it's very well balanced it, that, that doesn't overpower the wine at no. all and we, 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 we try to create this kind of wines where you have the approach that you can drink one or two glass and your mouth feel uh, doesn't get any kind of fatigue so you carry on to drink that's good Maybe I'll better keep, not I'll hitting the road drinking. afterwards, you just <laughs> need a good driver, but um, it's quite cool to have. Uh. <laughs> Do you hear that? I can have as many as I like. Isn't that what that meant? <laughs> exactly. In a nice way, so yes. <laughs> not feeling guilty. Creation has played a pioneering role in the development of wine and food pairing here in the Cape Winelands and it combines winemaking showmanship with culinary artistry and here to tell me all about the food and wine pairing here at the estate is Carolyn Martin, the co-owner. So what we've got here is an orange mousse. Um, orange saffron mousse and we've got um, some beautiful um, roasted coconut flakes. We've got prawn here, which is sweet. So the sweet meat of prawn is just beautiful. Shellfish is exquisite with Chardonnay. In fact, one of the um, things that you'll also notice on here is some lovely apricot notes. So a little bit of stone fruit coming through. And then um, you've got some microgreens and, um, or micro herbs rather, and some spring onion, which just adds a little hint of umami and zestiness to it. And then snapdragons, which are really gorgeous flowers um, to work with as well. And I think this is a divine pairing. And it is so romantic in a way. It sort of represents almost a ring, doesn't it? Yes. A ring of fire. Yeah. It's too romantic to, to destroy. <laughs> okay. It, it looks so complex and so beautiful. Yeah. Well, it's like the wine, isn't it? Complex it is. It shouldn't be eaten. It should be on a wall. <laughs> the Art of Chardonnay um, just pairs so beautifully with this. And um, this is part of the kiss and towel tasting that we do. It's a six course pairing menu, three Chardonnay pairings and three Pinot Noir pairings. Honestly, this takes wine and food pairing to a completely different level. Now here we go. Yes. Tell me if that's a good combination. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. 
So it's about weight and texture and um, flavor profiling, hints of sweetness, so balance. balance. Yes, all of those things. This is the 2016 creation art of Pinot Noir. And this is the piece de resistance of this vineyard. The grape variety here flourishes and has produced this award-winning wine. We get very proud about Pinot Noir and I think for us it's, um, it's, it's really proven over the, over the years that the, the Pinot Noir is the suitable cultivar here. Uh, we can make intensity, strong structured wines, but they're still coming over with uh, lots of elegance and finesse. Yes, because it's quite a fickle grape, isn't it? And the high altitude here and cooling winds from the Atlantic really makes this wine Yeah, I think it's, 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 it's climatically already quite difficult because you need the cold, the cold air. You not want to avoid on any circumstances the heat wave, so it has to be always nice and chilled. And I think what Pinot Noir then makes it really difficult is the wine making process because I think the Pinot Noir plays its uh, whole uh, picture is on, on elegance and when you have one element is not in the right context to the others, you that whole picture falls apart and, and with all the cultivars you can tweak, here cannot tweak. When, when it doesn't come right, you have not a second attempt. So here you can have at lunch a Pinot Noir slightly chilled, 14 degrees, 15 degrees and it's very suitable even at lunchtime as a red wine. Oh, it's nearly lunchtime, so... You're getting slowly hungry I think, now, Yes, right? I think I'm going to do the, <laughs> the tasting now. Cheers. Cheers sir. Thanks for coming along. No, oh, pleasure. <laughs> it's always a pleasure when there's wine involved. Okay, so we're going to taste the 2016 um, Art of Pinot Noir. Yes. Now, this is a, a very complex wine, lots of layers to it, but it's still very elegant. So how do you achieve that? I think that's a trick for good Pinot Noir making, that you, that you get this kind of uh, different layers in your wine. So you, you might have a little bit of cherries, uh, black fruits, a little bit of red berry fruit coming through. But this wine doesn't really just play on the fruit element. It also has a bit of a kind of a earthy note swinging along. And then um, a lots of length in the mouthfeel. But I think the key is that it still somehow looks like it's easy accessible. It's not too much in your face. And also here, like we had in the Chardonnay before, it's also a wine you will be able to go for one, two glasses and you still feel very refreshed. So um, it's, it's, it's a whole balance huh? between tannins, acid, how much alcohol and how much extraction you go. And it definitely has that long, rich finish. And this wine do also age well. Huh? Yes. I mean, this wines have the legs to go. You can go up to 10 years plus. That's absolutely no problem. Well, I can definitely recommend this Pinot Noir and no wonder it's an award-winning wine. This is only one of four Pinot Noir wines that have received the Platter five-star rating in 2018. Absolutely delicious. Here we go. <laughs> and I'm up for another one. I asked chefs to demonstrate um, the shale. So we've got these wonderful shale um, stones. And, and this is the Bockerveld. Shale. That's right, decomposed Bockefeld shale, yes, and clay loam soils. That's the terroir, yeah. Fantastic. I always wondered what it looked like. Now, now I'm glad now you yes, showed me. Yes, yeah. and it's 450 million years old, so uh, very, wow. very old and very ancient. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely stunning. And um, what I've done is I've asked chefs to um, do the 101 of food pairing and um, to make some bread rolls which um, represent the shale on the clay loam soils. And then what we have is a little bit of um, goat's milk cheese with sour cream whipped together instead of butter because it's lighter. And of course that is a perfect pairing to go with Pinot Noir as well because goat's milk cheese has this wonderful velvety satin characteristic which is a little bit like Pinot Noir. Look at that, Pinot Noir bread. That is amazing, absolutely beautiful. Look at that rich color. Now, And for I... me, yes, you, you must try it as well because one of the things that's so wonderful about it is that it has this really crunchy crust. Do I try, should I try it without the butter first? You, yes, or? you can try it without the butter, okay. with the butter. Tell me, tell me, yeah, the crunchy yeah. crust. So the crunchy crust, um, yeah, is, yeah. is texture is as important in food as um, flavor. Mm. So you get the flavor coming through of the wine and the um, softness inside and then this wonderful crunchy texture on the outside. And this is very important um, in bread as well. It is, it is incredible because 
you can really taste the wine. It, it's not just colouring, you know, it, it, yes. you really can taste the wine, which is unreal. Nice and Get crunchy. Get drunk on the bread. <laughs> Pairing it with the, with the wine, yes. so. A perfect complement to each other. So moving on, this looks like a work of art. So I wouldn't even know where to start. The colors are so vibrant and it looks like, almost like a potpourri fell on my, <laughs> my yes. plates around the outside. This is incredible. So what do we have here? So what we've done is we've um, taken the sort of essence of the Pinot Noir. So we've got lovely, fantastic layers of red berry fruit and you've got some notes of cherry, some beautiful um, notes of rose. And um, what I've done is I've incorporated those into the dish. So you've got um, raspberry here, fresh raspberry and freeze-dried raspberry, which is crushed, which is beautiful because it kind of has super intense flavor and beautiful natural acidity, which you find in this gorgeous Pinot Noir that we've got here, the art of Pinot Noir. Then you've got some smoked roast duck breast and you've got some brioche French toast which has um, got some maple syrup, so it brings out hints of sweetness. And then what you've got is the wonderful um, king oyster mushroom. Oh. Lovely notes of earthiness coming through from the mushrooms. As I said, the hints of sweetness from the maple syrup, the lovely natural acidity of the raspberries. So I would say that this is, um, a, vert is a horizontal pairing. It's more a marriage of flavors and layers, which picks up on the, m on the layers in the wine. Whereas the goat's milk cheese that you had with the bread is more of a vertical pairing because you kind of having contrasting flavors and freshness of the wine cutting through um, the creaminess of the goat's milk cheese. Yes, I mean, this is so complex with its layers, but everything totally complementing each other all the way through. It's it's a real flavor sensation. <laughs> I can't tell you how good this is. So game is a very important part of um, South African cuisine as well. And um, springbok is one of our really delicate, beautiful um, game. It's kind of very delicate in flavor and it has a little hint of sweetness to it. Um, delicious um, to go with Pinot Noir as well. So even the top sommeliers, mm. um, Joseph Tafano, who's one of our um, top sommeliers in South Africa, who is a sommelier at La Calam, said his favorite wine and food pairing of all time is this dish to go with our art of Pinot Noir. Oh, wow. I think I have to agree. I mean, everything. Everything about this vineyard is encapsulated in the name. Creation, isn't it? It's one big creation.